Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden at Real Life Trading Australia with your Tuesday Real Life Stock Review. Let's take a look at the markets. So the SPY uh, doing pretty much what we thought it was going to do. So it was on this day right here that I expected the market to come down, retest, and then most likely create some lower lows. We do have the 100 and 200 simple moving average. However, the market is actually looking quite weak. So if you take a look at the E-minis, and I'll zoom into the one hour chart. So I've had this down, uh, this trend line, I've had this trend line drawn from, pretty much the last few weeks and it has been respecting this resistance quite nicely. I actually missed out on a short right here last night. However, if you guys did get to take a short, it was a very, very nice, a very nice level to take short. So if you take a look at the SPY on the five minute, um, we pretty much just created some really nice tweezer tops right here. So we had these four bullish candles in a row. And then straight after that, we had this nice little bearish high wave candle tweezer top pattern. So if you were looking to take this bearish last night, you could have had a entry here with a stop above here and taken your trade lower. So if you did get to spot that trade, well done. Um, but I really wanted to spend a bit of time talking about what my thoughts are on the broader markets. We'll take a look at the queues. So on the daily chart, on the daily chart, we are also coming back into these moving averages. Now, what's interesting about this is if I just take a Fibonacci drawing here, we are at the 618 retracement level. So if we're going to bounce anywhere, we really need to start bouncing tomorrow, really. Um, we could chop around here for a little while. And I think that most likely these moving averages will hold the price level up. Um, however, if we do start to cross below these moving averages, I'll just take a look on the weekly. And I mean, realistically, the next, the next, major bullish level is underneath the low of this bullish candle right here, which is at a low of 171.85. So if we just take a look at the Fibonacci here on the overall trend, okay, the overall trend, I'll take this to the low. You can see that does almost line up with the 382 resistance level here. So guys, I'm not overly bullish on the markets right now. I'm very, very neutral. However, I am loving this pullback that we are having in the markets. Uh, I'll just look at some major, some major companies right now. So I'll take a look at Apple. Now on the daily, if you got to see my stock review on this day here, I did post that we would, that we did fill this gap and I said most likely to look for Apple to go lower. Now we have traded, we have traded below the 100 and realistically, I think we probably could go a little bit lower. If we take a look at the weekly chart, we are still below the 100. Um, this is definitely a good place to accumulate some shares, but I mean, overall the markets are looking a little bit bearish. Um, I'll, I'll just quickly go back to the IW. I'm going to go back to the IWM to show you what I mean here. Now, IWM, the Russell, we are pretty much, we are pretty much most likely going to come down to the 14680 level if we don't look to bounce. We are at the lows right now and we are below the 200 and the 100 simple moving average. So realistically, we need to start bouncing soon at about 14680. My overall view on the markets is bullish to neutral um, at this stage. I'm not looking at getting into any long-term swing trades as of yet. Most of the trades that I do take are, are day trades and generally I'm looking for a bearish trade. 
um, just just because of the current state of the markets and the volatility. So keep your eyes on 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 the markets. If you are in any long term positions, it would be wise to hold put options long term. Um, but that's pretty much what my overall thoughts on the markets is. If we are going to come lower, one four six eighty on the IWM is a good level to bounce. If we don't bounce here, guys, that's that's it's probably turning a little bit a little bit more bearish. So um, keep your eyes peeled on that one. I want to take a look at a couple of day trades that were placed today. AMD is a glorious gap and go. If you did get to play this in the morning, it was a very beautiful play. I'll just zoom in to, okay, so here we go. So we had a nice, nice bullish push in the morning. Beautiful bullish push. And then as soon as we got this nice silver cross here, we came back down, retested the 10 and then just launched higher. So if you did get to catch this dip, well done. Awesome, awesome trade. Here's Roku finally having a bit of a pullback after all this bullishness. Uh, I am still looking to short this. I'm going to try and swing this one short. Uh, so if I if we do get a nice little retrace higher, I'll look to probably take this one short as well. Um, so keep your eyes on Roku. Not looking super bullish anymore after after all the after all the bears came in last night, everyone finally taking their profits. So that's looking really, really juicy. I just want to take a look at the overall markets on the Aussie market. So the ASX 200, it was on this day here that I said most likely we're going to start to get a bit of a pullback. And we are finally getting that today, which is really, really nice. Just like the overall markets everywhere else, we are we are seeing a little bit of weakness. So I still think we will come down a little bit lower. Um, just keep your eyes on keep your eyes on this dip. Everything seems to be having a small, small, small pullback. Um, it could turn to a big pullback. I'm not sure. Um, however, just keep your eyes on any long term trades that you do have. If, you, if you're in profit, I would be looking to lock in some profit up here because we are getting quite high. As you can see, we haven't been this high on the overall, on the ASX 200 since, you know, back in 2008. So guys, I'm not overly bullish right now, okay? Here's APT, after pay, uh, on the weekly forming a really nice candle off the 10. I mean, this is just an overall, overall, this is a really great stock to hold in your portfolio. If you haven't, if you're not in it already, it's not really the time to be looking to buy. We are still below the 10 and I'm still looking to buy at 2248 and 1933. So if we do end up getting a little bit more of a pullback in the markets, this is where I would look to buy. Um, as you can see on the long-term moving averages, that is pretty much where the 100 is going to be. So keep your eyes for a keep your eyes open for a buying opportunity on that one. Here's BHP. Now BHP is just chopping around at the moment. Uh, most of you should be in bullish off this 100. If you did get to catch that buy, it was a great buying opportunity. Um, is this a Head and shoulders, it could be. I don't think so, though. However, if you look at the um, if you look at the iron ore futures, I'll just bring this up quickly. So we are still quite bullish on the iron ore. So we are at, we are reaching some pretty high prices on iron ore. I don't know if it's going to stop or or slow down at this point, um, but it is keeping you know BHP and and all those other mining companies, iron ore companies it's going to keep them steadily growing. So keep your eyes on, 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 on a dip buy opportunity on BHP if you're not in already. Here's Zipco. Now, I did speak about back here saying it is a good time to start locking in some profits. This is just an absolute crazy trend that we've had here. Um, and we've had a very nice wave, wave count, one, two, three, four, five. Pattern. So most likely, I do expect something 
like this, an A, B, C pattern. Um, yeah, that would that would make a lot of sense. And then that would pretty much that would pretty much finish off this head and shoulders pattern that we could create. So keep your eyes peeled for a short on zip if you aren't in a short already. Um, or if you're not, just look to take some profits off the table at this point and get in at a lower price. So that's Zipco. Uh, WTC, well done for those of you who did end up taking your profits here and then rebuying the dip, as I did say. It was a, it was a dip buying, of, it, was a, it was a high to start selling, selling shares and then I said look to buy the dip if you get one and we pretty much had one the next day. So if you guys did get to buy there, well done. We did break out of we did break out of this resistance level right here, and we are currently uh, retesting, but we haven't quite. I mean, we haven't quite made some higher highs yet. So this could be a fake out. Um, so just be cautious buying at this level right here. I still would look to buy off the 100 simple moving average if you aren't in already. Here's FMG. Now FMG, I also posted back here, guys look to take your profits. Um, and if we take a look at the weekly chart, this was the reason why. So it was at this level, it was at this level right here that I was looking at saying, guys, we are getting quite extended up here. I wasn't saying that we can't go higher. We can definitely go higher. However, the overall state of the market, very, very volatile look to take some gains off the table. Um, as long as you win more money than you lose, mathematically, you will be profitable. So make sure you do lock in profits. Uh, I'll just look at a couple of the commodities out here. So we've got gold. Now gold is just absolutely just chilling between the 100 and the, sim and the 200 simple moving average on the daily. We're most likely just going to consolidate around here. We are going to chop around, so I'm. I don't really see that much, that much of a, a trade setup on gold. Pretty much just a buy low, sell high. You have a nice little support level here. If you're going to look to buy, buy off here and have a stop just below here. That would be a nice trade. It wouldn't be a long term trade. It would be a very quick scalp, maybe a couple of days, small swing trade, if that. Um, but yeah, that's gold. Pretty much just pretty much just chilling as the dollar stays quite strong. Uh, and here's crude oil. Now crude doing an absolute glorious pullback back down to the 100 simple moving average. And I still don't think this is it. This is it for the bears guys. I really think that we're going to come down a little bit lower. Uh, we do have a nice little lower high here. So if we do follow this trend line, you know, and we come up and create some higher highs, uh, sorry, lower highs here. I do think we may roll over. That would line up with this resistance level right here. So do keep your eyes open for a short um, if you are trading crude oil. And let's take a look at the Aussie, Aussie, uh, the Aussie dollar last, just to see how we're trekking. So Aussie dollar, just as I thought, we were going to chop around here. Um, most likely we will chop around a little bit more, maybe come up to about, you know, back up to 70, but then look to roll. If, if we do come up to 70, I'd definitely be looking for this to go back lower. Um, however, just keep your eyes on this for a short because Aussie dollar does not look very, very strong at all. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back again on Thursday with another real life stock review. Until then, rem remember, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.